What's good, goof tubers? It's your boy D, aka Mofuga, back again with some more Bullet Force action. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back for some more Bullet Force tours. I hope everybody's doing good. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna talk about the talk about the future of Bullet Force. I'm not predicting anything. It's just I'm just gonna talk about it because what happened was um, I was playing this game the other day and a thought ran in my mind. I was like. It was like, what's gonna happen to Bullet Force when Shadowgun Legends and Modern Combat Versus officially releases? You know, because these two games are by far the most anticipated, by far the most, or by far the biggest game ever on the mobile devices that are going to release in 2017. So what's gonna happen to Bullet Force when these two big games releases in 2017? So, you know, I was just, you know, thinking and thinking and thinking and, and um, I had a few thoughts and opinions about this whole freaking thing and I was like you know what I might as well just make a video about it and share my thoughts and opinion with you guys and see if you guys agree with me or totally disagree and we can go from there and you know we can predict the future of bullet force according to that so without further ado let's go ahead and you know, jump right into it already uh, but before as always the gameplay that you guys are watching took place in park park that's the name of the map I, sh I should be you know I should have you know known the name of the map already but <laughs> <laughs> but, but like I said, uh, the gameplay took place in park and uh, I was using MPX and I have to say I freaking love MPX, you know, MPX is by far my favorite weapon in this game. I've been using MPX like forever now and I am in, I am in love with this weapon. It, it works perfectly. It's great for long to short, you know, range gunfights, has like big enough clip to get the job done and has a great, great, great stability for people to make it easy. To, you know handle it you know stability is basically the uh, recoil so you know it's very easy to control so i absolutely freaking love it uh i was using heal rapid draw fmj extended and trigger finger perk just because don't ask me why the hell i was using freaking trigger trigger finger perk because maybe i did just wanted to i don't know i have no idea don't ask me but <laughs> i was using these perks and the uh, reason why i was using uh, extended is because extended is always good to basically have like extra bullets and fmj to basically increase that long range uh, uh damage or damage in general to increase that damage in general so these are the perks I was using and it worked perfectly man, I absolutely freaking lutely love this weapon. So that was that about the gameplay, uh, I ended up hitting like 40 plus kills, you guys will see, this gameplay was pretty old, um, so you guys will see, I ended up hitting like 40 plus kills. But uh, with that being said, let's move on to the main topic of this video which is the future of Bullet Force. Or I should say, what's gonna happen to Bullet Force once Shadowgun Legend and Modern Combat Versus officially releases. You know, so let's go ahead and you jump right into it. Like I said, I had this crazy, crazy thought that, you know, ran in my mind what's going to happen to Bullet Force. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and, you know, think about it. And after thinking about a couple of things and using my brain, using my, you know, peanut-sized brain, I came to a conclusion that it's definitely, definitely, definitely going to see some player drop, you know, some empty servers and whatnot. But the change is not going to be dramatic to the point where developer had to, you know, literally pull out the plug and shut the game down. You know, I'll tell you a little story. 2012, 2013 was like the heyday for Shadowgun Death Zone. I've been playing that game since 2012, and that game was like on top of the food chain. You know, it was kicking ass and had like the biggest freaking player base ever for a mobile game. But they were not upgrading the game. They were not updating it. They were not bringing more content. So people was, people started complaining, and then came Modern Combat 5. When Modern Combat 5 released, I would say at least 50% of the player base from Shadowgun Death Zone jumped to play Modern Combat 5. And um, I think we're talking 2013, 2014. When did Modern Combat 5 release at, at that time? And the reason why I'm you know sharing this story with you guys is because I've seen that change. I had good friends who used to play Shadowgun Death Zone religiously every single night with me, <coughs> geezers, <laughs> who basically you know started playing Modern Combat 5 when Modern Combat 5 came out because Shadowgun Death Zone was just not cutting it for them because it was it was just painful to play that game at that time. Still is sometimes, but that's what happened. You know, Modern Combat 5 came. You know, the the player base for Shadowgun Death Zone was left basically into half, and I think at this per, at this point it's just basically around 20 to 30 percent if I'm not wrong. So. So Modern Combat 5 took a whole lot of, you know, their player base. Then after some time, people were getting bored of Modern Combat 5 and then comes Bullet Force and it came along as a fresh breeze of air for like mobile gamers. You know what I mean? Like people got on it, people loved it and everybody was happy. And you know, that took a whole lot of player base from, you know, Modern Combat 5, other games as well and brought them to Bullet Force and people, you know, started playing Bullet Force. Now this is 
this is usual this is going to happen when people see new game your especially your youtubers who are playing new games you are going to jump the bandwagon you're going to hop the bandwagon and same thing is going to happen with bullet force when modern combat versus and shadowgun legends you know releases and i'm pretty sure the player base for bullet force is going to get cut into half if i'm if i'm not wrong probably i'm i'm just like throwing out a random number you know i'm not saying that that's how it's going to be i'm just saying that that could be the percentage that is going to get cut into when these two big games releases because it's all about you know player base more player base you have you know that's the basically um telltale sign that you have a good game and people like people are you know enjoying the game now coming back to bullet force that doesn't mean that that is the end of the game you know obviously the player base is not going to be the same but the game is still going to be alive you know like i gave the example earlier about shadowgun death zone uh 50 of the player base went to modern combat 5 and as of right now we only have about 20 to 30 percent and that's a very low number for the game who was like on top of food chain in 2012 but still 20 to 30 percent of that percentage is still pretty high for shadowgun desert because people really truly played that game religious including myself so same thing is going to happen for you know bullet force as well i mean obviously you know people are going to play it because they like it you love this game they love this game including myself you know it's simple it's fun you hop on for one or two games have fun you know annihilate a whole lot of shit in your way and you on your you're on your way but it's not going to be the point where you know you're not going to be able to you know freaking connect to any other player or get connected in like empty lobbies and stuff like that i'm pretty sure developer is already you know planning you know he's you know working on new updates and you know trying to bring new things to basically keep it fresh for you guys just like modern combat you know people were people are people were tired of modern combat you know they were leaving the game obviously youtubers were still playing it because you know they had to bring some content for you guys but like people in general were tired of it and like i said when when bullet force arrived it was just like a fresh breeze of air and everybody freaking and loved it but at the end of the day when both of those two games going to be released and arrive bullet force is still going to stay alive you know it's not going to go anywhere obviously like i said player base is going to get decreased and get affected by it but it's going to be still alive because like people love it people play the games because they like them not because they are forced to and nobody can force one to do or play a game that they don't like so including myself i love this freaking game and i don't, and I don't want this game to go away you know simple as that and i heard that developer of this game it's actually working on a secondary game i think it's like a sequel to bullet force i don't even know i've just heard about it i, I downloaded that game it was in beta and it was just like too glitchy for me so i just you know deleted it but um i hope he brings something different in that game something new in that game so you know he gets back his player base and you know people you know enjoyed that game as well wish him all the luck but uh, like i said that was my conclusion that was those were my thoughts and opinion about what's going to happen to bullet force once shadowgun legends and uh modern combat versus officially release it but uh with that being said that's basically it in this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did definitely drop a comment subscribe share like let me know what do you guys think what's going to happen to bullet force once you know modern combat mc vs and sgl releases what do you guys think what's going to happen i'm i'm pretty sure i'm dead on this you know conclusion that uh, bullet force is definitely going to see a you know big loss not a big loss but like a dramatic i'm uh, not okay i take that back to some like some drop in player base but the game is not gonna die you know what i mean game is not gonna die it's gonna be there like if shadow and death zone can survive with having like shitty servers and <laughs> crappy hit reg i'm pretty sure bullet force is going to you know do just fine for itself so yeah that was that and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time peace my face yeah